Hello, Confetti Club. Thank you for bearing through that very, very overdramatic opening. But I did happen to take those few little iPhone videos of me taking down my last sewing space for first year fashion when we, of course, had to come out of school in March for all of the worldly virus shenanigans of the time. But we are lucky enough to actually be back in person at our school. We have a very small school and a very small class and they've divided it up and made it so that we are able to be there in person, at least for now. So I wanted to do a video for you guys decking out my space. I have this amazing giant corner space that I was blessed with. And of course, Marcus has gone around doing cute little illustrations and decorations for opening. And we are in the second year room this year, of course, which is this lovely space! Uh, this was filmed two weeks-ish into the school year, so I have some things on the walls here that I just had to have up, boop, so that I could work somewhat for the classes I had going on. But now, I have my cloud paper, I have all of my cuteness, I have my camera, and the pixification is happening! The cutification ceremony, if you will. So I have the same cloud print. This is bulletin board paper, like for teachers. I managed to get my hands on the same stuff from last year. I have here some cork boards, bunting, a happy little flower from Ikea, little party supplies tin, uh, just all my little bits and bobs for school. And I'm about to slap them up on the walls. This little organizer I got at Michael's, I believe a year ago. There's also some just like school stuff that's not as cute. That has to be up there so I can uh, use it and do school stuff. And I'm just gonna let this time lapse play with these smooth, smooth beats. <laughs> It feels so much more like me, like my space. My classmate at like the beige station to the left of me here said it looks like I'm floating in the cloud, so I thought that was really funny. These cork boards I painted, I actually did a little Instagram reel of me painting them. Uh, I intend to stick little notes here. I have some bunting, of course. My tools of the trade, pattern drafting tools my T-square, fabric scissors, I have a little cutting mat here for my spiky tracer. Lots of patterns here, I'll probably leave this space just to be like where I put patterns. And this epic organizer! I have this tin that I showed earlier. I actually got this at the candy store I used to work at. And I have a little tiny piece of fencing here that was from the cat house DIY years ago. I always keep my extra crafting supplies and they always come in handy. This is my little friend Gummy. I actually keep him to stim with during class. He really, really helps me. I am a very fidgety, stimmy person and this is the first time I've actually like brought a stimming device to school. 
This is a little star-shaped hole punch for cutting out patterns, actually. We used to have a pattern rabbit, uh, but they had to take it away. I have some gardening gloves here, as well as some safety glasses. Uh, these gardening gloves I picked up because, uh, you know, with COVID, it might be handy to actually have a pair of gloves to throw on, and they are extremely cute. They do have us wear safety glasses at the sewing machines, because no one wants to, you know, be sued for a lost eyeball. I have a big pink thumbtack here for some hangers. And this happy little solar IKEA garden light. I didn't know you can actually turn it on and off even if it's not outside in your garden. Look how happy he is! And he does actually help illuminate my desk a little bit. I love my space. It really, really feels like me. I will definitely probably get some things up on those cork boards so they're not just bare. Um, usually that's where I'll actually hang my mask is on one of the pins holding up the cork board because we are able to take the mask off once we're at our stations because all of our desks are socially distanced apart. And yeah, since filming this little portion, I did actually also get green gingham down on the table. Here I am, very excited about my little Procreate mock-up that I actually showed you guys earlier. Yeah, I for the table, I was just like, I'll find the cutest, you know, tablecloth pattern, and then I'll put vinyl over it. And yeah, like I said, that isn't down in the video yet, but I will show you after, so stick around. But yeah, this is what it is looking like right now as I vlog throughout the year and as I make more projects and complete more garments and things, I'm sure it will look much more busy and hectic and maybe a little bit cluttered at times on the walls with different notes and things, but that's all just part of the wonderful experience of learning. <laughs> oh, are you here? Are you here? Is it the sticker spot? I don't know if there's room, honey. <gasps> this is a Nina spot! Oh god, what a cat-heavy ending to this video. Let me bring you back home to my little home office sewing space where I have flipped this Ikea Kallax on its side. I think I mentioned that in the last video. Here it is! Is this a fun spot? I've created an elongated rectangle surface on which for my cat to snooze. Hello, ma'am. Yes, okay, so, um, fun happy school desk times. I wanted to pop in and do a little outro here. I wanted to also show you guys that I did put vinyl on my desk. That's something that they are requiring for us to do for COVID precautions so that the desks are wipeable and like sanitizable like that. I got some cute vinyl situation going on. I grabbed some upholstery green gingham and just a meter and a half of clear vinyl and that's on there now and I think it looks really cute. Uh, my friend Barlow who has the desk right beside me, she's friggin amazing and also the most impeccably gorgeous and kind human being I've met. Like, Marlo is an angel. Um, she's like, it looks like grass because it's green, but it's also a picnic because it's gingham. And I'm like, you are reading my mind, sister. We just had a class where we did some mood boarding in our researching and designing a collection class that I actually posted on Twitter. Ooh, ooh, more pics. So yeah, whenever my mood board is done, that'll go up there. We also do like a presentation board where we have the technical drawings of all of our collection looks. So that's why there's such a big empty space there um, is that there's gonna be like two big project board things that I have to put up. But yeah, I'm super excited. I love my space. It feels so me. Um, a lot of my classmates have also put up their spaces now so like Roberta's is all cool and like gothic floral and Oakley's is like gorgeous amethyst and Marlowe's is like beige couture um so fun we have the most wholesome lovely class I couldn't ask to be with a better just like so kind so sweet I love my class and I can't wait for an excellent senior year I have an extremely cool Fiji Confetti Club member. Are you ready to see this? Oh, here they are. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh my oh, I'll do I'll do the whole ceremonious confetti club moment. 
So this video's Fuji Confetti Club member is Oh My Lorb on Instagram, who has done the most amazing, detailed, well executed, just ah uh, set of nail art. 3D nail art, might I add. Ugh. We have an actual little video here showing them off with a pink gingham background. I love that pink gingham has just always remained, no matter what my aesthetic has morphed into or out of. Like, my very first YouTube intro ever was just a pink gingham backdrop. And I just, I love this. How do you do gingham on nails? The confetti club nail. How do you spell on a nail that small? The peep is 3D! Ah, oh, and then the the strawberry wall with the pattern from my bedroom wall, and then the flower with the pattern from my living room. This is like, oh my lord, might I say. Thank you so, so much for doing this and sharing it with us. Um, I remember seeing this on the Pixie Luxes Confetti Club Facebook group, which by the way, we have a little Pixie Luxes Confetti Club on Facebook if you wanna come hang out and chat with us. I remember seeing this on there and just being like, also, I know that I'm going to mention this again later, but I just have to say that this t-shirt is from a brand called Bluchi and it is an interactive experience. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Oh my God. I have never been more obsessed with a garment. Check them out. As always, thank you guys so, so very much for watching. I love you lots. Nian loves you lots. Even though she's snoozing, she's dreaming about you. Um, and I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you in the next video, which is not this one because this one's over. Bye.